So there's this like marathon thing happening in Santa Monica today and the traffic is absolutely terrible. I think I'm gonna run a red light if I move up, but I'm gonna do it. I, I'm moving, going for it. All I know is we are gonna have a hard time getting to the pier. Yes, we're going to the pier today, but God, this LA traffic, bro. Okay, so there's a Lapras on the pier right now, and I can't get on the pier right now. It sucks. I did the whole use your camera to make you look important and just walk through strategy, and it worked very well. All right, to the pier. On the pier. It's supposed to be right here. If I ran, oh, there it is. Yes! Woo! Click like that. Nice! Yeah, yeah, so here, got the lap. Oh my gosh, we ran quite a way for this and it's a hundred CP. I don't know if that was worth the sprint, but hey, we got a wild lap to start the video. Woo! Not a bad catch. Everybody else is catching too. What's up guys? How y'all doing? Oh my gosh. On the pier, well, a lot of squad today, a lot of people on the pier hunting. And let's see if we can get the lapras. Oh he got 1400, dude. Lucky guy, we got 100. Boom, we got it! Wow, but yo, wild Lapras, we sprinted our arses off for this, but we got it. Starting off the video strong with wild Lapras, we are obviously at the Santa Monica Pier today, so we're gonna have like a chill farming hunt day, and hopefully some rare spawns like this will pop up throughout the day. But there is a marathon happening, so it's like incredibly busy downtown, so we might miss some good spawns in the city, but yo, start off the Lapras, I'm cool with that. We're actually back in the same exact spot. This is what, the third video in a row at another Sneasel spawn. This is a Sneasel spawn point, not only the same exact lure, but like the same exact spot, same exact spot on the map. So we got 239 CP this time. This is our, what, fourth or fifth Sneasel just like right here. This is actually hilarious. <laughs> I've never seen this before. I want a good IV big CP Sneasel, like for no reason, just to have it. Nice, 239 Sneasel, again in the Sneasel spawn oh, point, which is way, super okay. weird. And we have a fan feed nearby. That is, that is beautiful. Now we've got the fan feed, which should be right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> here, here we go. Okay, nice. We got 47 CP Fanfi, which is perfect because I'm just gonna hit that with the pineapple great ball, and that should go down one hitter quitter. Good catch. My stomach is churning from that Lapras run. I haven't sprinted in a long time, and I'm white, so my running skills are not really there. So, <laughs> one hitter quitter though on the Fanfi. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. You had 800. Oh my God. Oh, what? 56 candies, so we can get our Don Fan. Nice. That was. Beauties. Hatching. We got a pincer out of a 5k. That's disgusting. At least it's not out of 10k. 1500 though. That's kind of a fatty. Wonderful IVs. We'll hold on to them for now. There's a. Oh, there's a fan fee. Hold on. I got it. Ah, we got eggs. Egg number two. Looking like. So wow. That's the worst hatch in the world right there for me. Hopefully the final egg. Number three. Oh wow. Psyduck. <laughs> All right. Fan fee right here. Actually walking towards a skarmory as well which is awesome. And we're gonna use a raspberry on this just because 510 CP is kind of big. I'm running out of pineapple berries and we have enough for a Dawn fan and we have a Dawn fan. One hit or quitter, here we go. End of the pier cluster, we have a Skarmory, Teddy Ursa, and an Abra. We're gonna grab the Skarmory first because it is the Gen 2 Aerodactyl and we've got 1300 CP. Oh, so this is a freaking monster. Okay, we're gonna raspberry Pokeball. You know why? Savage season. And so, so far, spawns have been up to par today. Boom! There we go, we got him the great ball. Not bad, not bad. Teddy Ursa next, just because I would rather have an Ursa Ring than an Alkazam, because Ursa Ring's newer. 8.39, oh my god. I should've Savage Season. No, we got a one-hitter quitter, we're good, we're good. Oop, above average. I actually have like an 800 or 900 CP Teddy Ursa with good IVs, so expect that to be evolved soon, but that's solid. And then an Execute just popped up. It's been a good day. Now we got a 1100 Azumarill, so try to knock this down. We're also swimming through crowds, so this is interesting. One-hitter quitter, yup. This guy's a beast, by the way. That dude's the man. And actually some awesome people just came up and gave me, uh, like this cute little girl gave me some pictures and one is a pseudo wudo drawing and then one's Mystic, Eevee and Mystic, and then pseudo wudo. So thank you for that, that's awesome. Look at him, look at pseudo wudo. Now we're on the beach right now and actually we found a wild Croconaw, aka one of my favorite looking Pokemon out of generation two. When the entire game in general is like, look, all chubby and cute. All right, we're gonna throw a Raz first because I accidentally clicked it. And then if we miss this, we're gonna Savage Season with the Pokeball. And if we miss this, then we're gonna go with the pineapple because that's a lot of candies. Savage season, maybe. 
No, okay, good. Actually, now we can pineapple. I'll throw one pineapple, and if it doesn't go down here, we'll go back to Raz. Okay, let's see. Pineapple Ultra Ball. Oh, jumped me. Boom! There we go. We got it with the Pineapple Berry Ultra Ball. That is going to be double candies on the already stacked candy counts. So Ten candies right there for our total candy count. Now with 202 total candy, and we got a 411 CP Croconaw, so we are solid right here. That was a cool one. We got a double total spawn right here, which is awesome. We're getting a lot of total candy today. I'm going to throw, we'll throw one pineapple at this because we have a lot of total candy, and I need to save that for when we see Larvitar and uh, Marie. Let's see it. Went ahead a quitter? Maybe? Me nope. There we go. All right. We got Toe Deedle number one down. 206 total out candy, and we now have the other one, which is apparently like 700 oh, CP. What the, what the, look at this. Look Let's see, is he a monster? He's a monster. Oh, Savage no. season. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Go down, Toe Hey, there we go. Got the Toe That took a couple balls, but he is down, and we're now at 200. Hold oh, on, let me check the IVs. Not good. Oh, gosh. 210. Total out candy, bro. Stacking it up. Back on the pier, we got a Hitmon Lee, and the move set apparently is great. I can't click it. Come on now. What, what is happening? Hey, there he is. Okay, we got him. That was, that was weird. And we got 791 CP. So we're going to Savage Season. Be oh, God. We're going to attempt a Savage Season, but he is crazy. Okay, you know what? You're getting a Nanab Berry, bro. I don't ever get to use these. All right, here we go. Nanab Pokeball. <laughs> I can't hit him. There we go. Now we hit him. Let's see if we can Savage Season this guy. And it's looking like. Two. Oh, yeah, no. Mm -mm, not happening. Ultra great, great ball. We got it. Not an ultra ball. Great, an ultra great ball. There we go. Hit him on Lee down. And we got, yeah, yeah, Rock Smash and Close Comet. Good move sets on that. Cool. Here's an actually rare catch that not a lot of people are figuring. The, the regional Pokemon have become more rare. So Tauros right here. This is actually the first Tauros I've seen in probably like over a week. So they're definitely rare catches. I'm keeping all the Tauros now for trading. There we go. One hitter quitter. Boom. Nice. Savage season with the Pokeball. It took me like. 20 Pokeballs to finally hit him, but there we go. Yeah, 1440 with Tackle and Earthquake, actually. Pretty good moveset for the Tauros with terrible IVs, but I'm definitely keeping this for trading because when it comes out, yo, I will be your Tauros plug. We got a Hitmon top right here. We walked really far for this, and it's not spawning in. Come on, internet, please. Yo, this place is popping over here, man. What's going on here? It won't spawn for me. Verizon, don't do this to me right now. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not loading in on this. Juan's letting us connect to his hotspot, so we're probably going to catch this. Okay, we're connected. Please, please. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're logging in. Oh. Oh. There we go. Is it yes. oh. Juan's hotspot's gonna be the play. Here we go. Here we go. You better keep it on. Is it there? Oh, I see a Cyndaquil. Oh, that was on Lure. Hit on top. Oh. Did it despawn? Oh no. Did it despawn? I think so. Rest in peace, Hit on top. We almost got it. Cyndaquil though. Ah. Okay, we're back on the man, Juan's network and hopefully we can log in right now because Verizon is getting just destroyed today in the city I literally cannot log in and there was a really really awesome catch here way better than the him on top that it's not looking like I'm getting in for come on, please. Oh my gosh, dude Verizon. Why are you doing this to me today? There's such good catches if we miss this I'm driving to Verizon and I am giving up my second I'm throwing a thing. We logged in before. Oh, oh here we go Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go loading in. Oh in. No, come on spawn Please load game. <laughs> it's worth it. I promise. The struggle is definitely worth it. If we oh hey there it is. Hey. Woo, I'm clicking it right away. We got oh another. This is three number three wild type lotion for yeah 952. I got the same one as you did. Yeah. And oh, uh, you know what? we throw like... we throw pineapple ultra ball. I I savage season this. Yo hey man I want that candy. I want that candy. Here we go. Wild yeah all the, all the time wild. Typhlosion, that is so right. sick. Okay, uh oh, here we go. When hit or quitter? Nope, don't run. You better. I'm Mine watching up, you. Ooh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Internet. Come on. No. no. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you got no. the error. Hold on. What happened? Oh. What? It says error, but I don't. I don't know what happens here. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw a ball and hope that it goes down. Ah, I don't know if we're gonna get it. Risky business. Risky business. Yeah, man. It's just because there were so many people here today for the uh, the marathon that it killed the cell reception completely. I've got reception over on the pier, but not anywhere in the city. And uh, even on, you know, uh, his hotspot, it's, it's still pretty spotty just because Santa Monica got wrecked. Oh no, yeah, it's gone. Rest in peace. Yo, he's still here. The Typhlosion's still here. I logged back in on my internet and it finally started working. We got a Typhlosion. Oh my gosh. 
I was I was in tears, man. There's a trash can here. I was about to jump in there and just yeah, live the in there forever. The and the berry's still on him. Yeah, it's yeah. so weird. Okay, we'll throw the ultra ball and uh, try to knock this guy down because this is again Typhlosion number three we in Santa Monica. We got the first one day one, 420 Typhlosion. Now we got this one right here. We're gonna get him. Nice. Oh, you got him. There we go. We got the Typhlosion down. Woo! Okay, I was so his. sad right there. And he's got his. 16. Yeah. He's getting, he's getting it. Oh, nice. And yeah, yeah, yeah this is going down too. Yeah, 16. It's a 16. Yeah, 1600. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. Ember and Fire Blast, a great move set for Typhlosion and uh, above average IVs. But there is another wild Typhlosion in Santa Monica, y'all. I'm juiced. Okay, I gotta walk like this because the sun. But we have a Syndical right here. And there's also a, I'm gonna say Pupitar. There's a Larvitar at this top. If there's a Pupitar, that'd be lit, but it's a Larvitar. 215 on the Syndical. Savage season. Oh my gosh, I'm just not. Not today. I can't hit this stupid freaking cynical. Chill out, brother. There we go. Okay. Boom. There we go. All right. Cynical down. Let me set the camera up. We'll catch this Larvitar. All right. Cynical. We got 212 candy for, and then Larvitar right here. Perfect. And this is actually a hop up nest. So we'll probably catch a couple of those here too. And we got 533. We're going to risk it for the biscuit here with a pineapple berry, pineapple ultra ball, and see if we can grab this. And if not, then we'll go over to the raspberries. Oh, you little. Mm. Definitely would like the double candies, but at the same time, I don't want this to run. So let's see. Oh. Boom! One hitter quitter, that's what I'm talking about. Double candies on the Larvitar. How much candy do we have? We are getting close, honestly. 68, we're getting very close to our Tyranitar. Well, kind of. Actually, not really at all, because we need 125. Okay, we're getting sort of kind of there. Evolution out of maybe, not so much. And then we do have the Hoppeth at the Hoppeth Nest. Check this cluster out right here. We have an Oddish Chinchow Furret and a Graveler. We're getting the Furret first because it is like the, I guess, the rarest evolution. This is actually, we, oh my god, 1200. We caught a Furret on the first day of Gen 2 uh, as we were leaving my apartment to go to the pier. This is actually, I think, our first ever evolution catch for Generation 2. And we should one hit right here, maybe. Boom! This will be tough. This will be harder than it should be. It is a 1200 Furret, so I'll, I'll give it to him. He's, he's kind of a fatty. Hey, we got it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Just as I said that, okay, three balls in down. Got the fruit for 1,241 with Sucker Punch and Dig. Not bad at all, and we got Terrible IV. So that was kind of a cool one. Oh, the Graveler despawned. I don't care about that, though. We're gonna do the Oddish first just because I'm programmed to catch Oddish over everything else because they are they used to be at least so rare. Now I've got 600 candy and I still treat them like they're Porygon. Yeah, we almost have 500 candy for the Oddish, so we don't really need it. Yeah, not a bad cluster and definitely not a bad day for our last day in Santa Monica for like a week. We have a cool lava right here as I stop recording this spawn. So that's a great catch. We'll pineapple it if it's low CP. 703, not low CP, but you know what? It's, it's pineapple. Uh, Pokeball Savage Season, that's what it is. Okay, let's see if we get this. All right, we'll go to Raz, Raz Ultra Ball. You know what, great, great ball. Yeah, dude, the Cyndaquil spawns have been crazy today. We got a lot of Cyndaquil, Typhlosion, and now the Quilava. So we're definitely stacking up on the candies. We're well over 200. There we go, okay. Got the Quilava, that's a great catch. We got a lot of stuff right, standing right here. This has been a really good spawn point today. This is actually where the Lapras spawned earlier, too. So we're now at, yeah, 217. We got Tackle and Dig on our Quilava. Interesting move set, and the IVs are above average. So, good catch. Good catches all day. Now we a Lickitung actually walking towards a Charmeleon, which is pretty good for 741 CP. So we actually have seen, I think this is the second one we've seen this weekend. My phone is lagging. There we go. Sniped him. All right, second ball, he's down. Lickitung, nice. Yeah, it's been a pretty rare spawn filled day. I'm very satisfied. Zen Headbutt Power Whip. The only thing that can make today better, obviously, is a Tyranitar or an Unknown. I think I'd poop my pants on both of those. So I'm pretty, I'm looking forward to that. It's not gonna happen, but I'm looking forward to it. We should got a Cyndaquil here at 660, which is awesome. And we're walking towards the Charmeleon. After the Charmeleon, it's looking like we probably will have to leave. So, so far today, awesome day. And I'm really hoping that maybe on the way out, we get something rare. But yo, I'm definitely satisfied with today's catches. And we got a Cyndaquil that's not going down right here. So just candy on candy, yo. Got this Cyndaquil right here with that 220 candies. IVs may be good. No, they're not. But you know what? 221 candies, so I'm okay with that. And now actually we track down a Charmeleon over here in the Venice area and it's looking like it's gonna be a total of 926 CP now apparently the IVs on this are good so we definitely are gonna go with the yeah, Raz Ultra Ball it's not we're not gonna savage season this and we hit him in the 
I'll let you finish that sentence. There we go. Hey, one hitter quitter, nice on the Charmeleon. Good IVs. And again, this probably is the last catch of the day. And if it really does have good IVs, I am okay with that. Let's check it. Yeah, they're wonderful. Attack, nice. Perfect attack stats on this. So we definitely will get a Charizard with this Charmeleon because we have 236 candies. So that's going to be evolved in a future video. Oh, wink, wink, sink, peek. Nice though, Charmeleon, that is, again, looking like probably the last catch of the day. And uh, sun's going down. Really solid day, solid last day in Santa Monica. Then we have the uh, squad back here, so good one. And now we're just some 2Ks. We start off with a Nidoran, so that's nothing really impressive. We'll transfer that out and see what else we get here. Number two, looking like a Squirtle. Not wow, I haven't hatched that in a minute. Okay, awesome. Squirtle hatched, I hatched it, sorry. And then we got 198 candies, <laughs> wonderful IVs, so this will be a Blastoise, a big bad Blastoise one day, nice. And Geodude. Here we go, here we go, yep. Hey, a palm, nice. I haven't hatched that. Again. Another one I haven't hatched in a minute. And a Pichu, nice. The baby Pokemon, uh, completely useless, especially nowadays. But I always love hatching them. Always like they're fun to hatch. So that was a cool one. Okay, and then oh, whoa, 10k hatch. Uh oh, uh oh, this is big. Oh boy. Please give me a Larvitar. I've never hatched one. Or Marie. Dratini. Oh my gosh. I've had so many lately. Well, that's not bad though because now, yeah, I'm at 238 candies. So, oh, IVs weren't even good. Troll me harder, Niantic. Now we got nine 10Ks hatching from the man right here. So, this is actually really big. I've never seen nine Gen 2 10Ks hatch. I'm actually excited to see what he gets here. Hopefully, some Larvitars and Marie. Oh, Pineco. Oh no. Oh no. Egg number two. Going up right here. And these are 9 10 Ks. And it's gonna be a hey, 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 Snorlax. My third one. There we go. That's a cool hatch. Egg number three of nine going up. We got Pseudo Woodle. Alright, now we got oh, Hey Mareep. That's a good one. That's one you wanna see. Yo, 475 plus 28 candies. Oof. I've kind of lost count, to be honest with you, of what egg this is, but okay. <laughs> yeah, eh. Skarmory, yo. Okay. What are you hoping for right here out of these next ones? How about Dratinis? Yeah, this guy wants his Dratinis. I want Dragonite, for crying out loud. Yeah. And uh, Chansey. Ooh. Well, if you need Blissey, there's that. And it's looking like Aerodactyl. Oh, okay. Both hey. Aerodactyl and Skarmory. Interesting. Take number 5,000 and another Pineco. Yeah. I hatched so many of those. Hey, there's your Dratini. Good, good, nice, good. nice. Was that it? That was yeah. the 10Ks. Yo, that was beast. My 100% Skip Loom. Yeah, he has a 100% IV Skip Loom. That's actually insane. Oh god, I'm zooming in. I'm not trying to do that. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a 100% IV Skip Loom going over to Jump Left, a Pokemon I do not have in my Pokedex, so this is definitely a good addition right here. Hey, hey, hey. Jump Luff, that looks beast. There you go, dude. That was that was a big two minutes, man. Nine ten Ks and a Jump Luff. Hell yeah. That's right. And then walking back to the car, we actually have a wild Nido Queen right here. We actually have not caught one of these in a while. The Nido Queens. Uh, did spawn and the Kings actually at the pier a lot for a little while there and then now I haven't seen them in forever So it's just kind of a cool catch definitely definitely a cool catch walking back to the car I've thrown maybe 10 balls at this thing. I cannot well, maybe not. I'm I'm over exaggerating. Oh ultra ball Oh, wow. We got a ballsy Nido Queen right here. Okay. Oh Hey, hey, we got it. Okay, Nido Queen down. That took a lot to get but we did grab that That was another rare catch on the walk out with poison jab and stone edge not bad at all Now we got a Larvitar right here on the way out, which is an awesome catch and looking at 289 CP. Okay, we're definitely using pineapps. We're, we're risking it for the biscuit with this last catch because I, I keep saying like this is the last catch and then something better pops up and then it's not the last catch anymore. But this should be pretty solid for the last catch because I think this is it. Ah! No, okay. All right. Ultra ball it is. Do you think on me? Yes, sir. Shout out to that guy. There we go. Nice. Okay, first ultra. I should have ultra balled. Got the Levitar. Beautiful and looking at how many candies, how many candies. For the Larvitar, we got 74 Larvitar candy, and we're obviously gonna transfer this out because the IVs are terrible. So we're at 75 now. Closing in on the Tarantar. We're getting there slowly but surely. Maybe one day we'll catch one on the pier. I missed it when it actually happened, but one day. I do have to head out right now, but I wanna give a final goodbye to the squad for today. Yo, peace out everybody. Thank y'all for hanging out. But a good day in Santa Monica, heck yeah. Deuces. Okay, we're here in Hollywood. Don't ask me why, we're just out in Hollywood. And I'm gonna leave you guys here, but I might take you guys out later on tonight. Or the next clip you see will be us back at the uh, Mystic 7 HQ, but this is this. I just wanna say, let me get some lighting in here. I just wanna say that tonight has been a very interesting night. And I'm finally going home. The video you're watching now was edited probably from around 3.30 a.m. to 
probably 7 a.m. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'm so sorry it's late, but that was today's video. And here are the catches from today's video. Again, just a Nido Queen, we got a good IV Squirrel, we hatched a good IV Charmeleon, and almost a thousand CP in the wild, which is just like something that I don't do a lot. Lickitung, Quilava, Typhlosion, we got a three, number three, Typhlosion, number three in Santa Monica. With Ember and Fire Blast, which is a pretty good moveset for it, definitely a good moveset for it. We got, what, Crocodile, Zoomerol, Skarmory, and the Lapras, which is one of the coolest catches, although it was only 109 CP, which is pretty unfortunate considering it's got Water Gun, Ice Beam, still a very good catch, and I have not gotten a Wild Lapras in a very long time, so this was really, really cool to grab. And actually, I got a bunch of tweets this morning. There was another Wild Lapras on the pier, so that was pretty exciting stuff, too. But that was today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, and it's probably pretty obvious where I am right now, not in Los Angeles, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which is very, very late. Again, sorry today's video was late. I was out late, super duper late that night. As you can see, I got home like 3.30 in the morning, tried to edit the video, fell asleep, had a haircut, had a flight, crazy busy day. You'll see tomorrow's video. But for now, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all. Peace out.